we often ask ourselves, am I good enough as a person? Or will I really make it to heaven? Of course, there's no such thing as being good enough or earning our salvation. But it is normal to wonder if we are acceptable before the Lord. In life, sometimes we become discouraged. We think silently, I can't do all these things, or I will never be as good as all these people. We must stop comparing ourselves to others. We torture ourselves needlessly by competing and comparing. We falsely judge our self-worth by the things we do or don't have and by the opinions of others. If we must compare, let us compare how we were in the past to how we are today and even to how we want to be in the future. The only opinion of us that matters is what our Heavenly Father thinks of us. All the Lord expects of us is to try. But you have to really try. Really trying means doing the best we can, recognizing where we need to improve, and then trying again. By repeatedly doing this, we come closer and closer to the Lord. We feel His Spirit more and more and we receive more of His grace or help. Now, none of us can do this on our own power. None of us will ever be good enough, save through the merits and mercy of Jesus Christ. But because God respects our agency, we also cannot be saved without our trying. If we will sincerely repent, God really will forgive us even when we have committed the same sin over and over again. As Eldred Jeffrey R. Holland said, however many chances you think you have missed, however many mistakes you feel you have made, I testify that you have not traveled beyond the reach of divine love. It is not possible for you to seek lower than the infinite light of Christ's atonement shines. Let me be direct and clear. The answers to the questions, am I good enough and will I make it, are yes, you are going to be good enough, and yes, you are going to make it, as long as you keep repenting and do not rationalize or rebel. The God of heaven is not a heartless referee looking for any excuse to throw us out of the game. He is our perfectly loving Father who yearns more than anything else to have all of his children come back home and live with him. That is his work and his glory. <laughs>